All right. I feel like I start pretty much every Fortnite video with that, but hey, it's what happens. Um, uh, I guess I can jump now. It doesn't really matter too much. So... I don't really have a, an idea or a topic to talk about. I'm honestly just, like, bored. Uh, I've been... I've been watching people, uh... I've been watching a really interesting, uh, theory video about solving FNAF. And it honestly puts together things in a way that I hadn't considered before. And I think it solves a lot of issues that I had had with, um, with a variety of parts of the canon timeline. Um, the, the thing about it is that, uh, they, they admit to it is like, hey, there's not a lot that you can do to fully, like, explain FNAF in, like, a meaningful sense because the series was never intended to, uh... It, it, it was never intended to have a solvable ending. It was piecemealed together after the fact. So it becomes an issue in that well, how do you solve something that has no answer? And people have been able to piece it together to the best of their capabilities, of course, but that doesn't mean that there's an actual reliable answer. That just means that people were smart enough to come up with a solution to a problem that doesn't really have one. It's quite impressive. Um... Thank you. Uh, I'll check after this boss fight uh, who the video is by. It's two hours long because it covers literally fucking everything. Uh, okay, so I'll grab that, I guess. All right, um, it is, uh, the, the video is called We Solved FNAF and We're Not Kidding by Dual Process Theory. It's quite an impressive watch. Um, like, I, I will admit, it is, uh, it is eye-opening in a lot of ways, where I was seriously confused with a lot of FNAF for a long time. As I'm sure pretty much everyone who likes FNAF is, because there is just so much of that series that just does not make any literal sense. Like, it, it is, uh, oh my gosh, this is fast as fuck. Wait, is this my vehicle? Oh no. Um... E e it's just, like, crazy to me that, um, people are able to piece together something that doesn't, that, that literally should not have an answer. Something that was not designed to have an answer. Um, I, I am really proud of our community for what we have been able to do. 
Um, it, it, it's just like... It, it's an odd thing. Um, I love FNAF, I love theorizing and thinking about it, but up until these people came about uh, and, like, explained certain portions, I genuinely thought that there were parts of the story that were, like, irreparably, like, irreparably destroyed by uh, retcons, essentially. Because my, my sticking point has always been, uh, you know, what the fuck, like, what happened first? Because there's so much of the story that does not make sense if you consider, like, hey, wait a minute. Uh, like, if you sit down and think for a second, why would the crying child not, uh, why would the crying child be afraid of the animatronics if they were the first to die? And why would Charlie be able to be the first to die if William wasn't taking revenge in some form for the death of the crying child? And if it, it also can't be Elizabeth because how would Elizabeth have died if the, it, it, how would Elizabeth have died if all of the fun times only exist to gather remnants and it would make the most sense for Elizabeth to die first when you consider oh um what's it called uh when you consider the concept that Elizabeth had to be the first one to die because why is she not present? Why do all of the nightmares appear with stomach mouths? Why is it that uh, when you, like, why is it that uh, repeatedly over and over William Afton through the Fredbear plush tells uh, the crying child to remember what he saw and enforce the fear if it weren't for the fact that Elizabeth died first. And then they had a very good explanation in the video, which I'm not going to spoil, but that, that has been a sticking point to me for years. And honestly, I don't think there was an intended fix for that. I think that the way that it was solved by the people was very smart. I don't think it was what was intended, because realistically, uh, I, I love FNAF, but I know damn well the story is not exactly a, a fine-tuned machine. Oh. That explains those issues. I don't fully know uh, if we'll ever get, like, a full explanation for FNAF. We probably never will. Uh, the, 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 the only answer that I think we may get is, like, if you die and you go to, like, some afterlife that is just a library of all information ever. I feel like that... that would be it. That would be the way you'd find out FNAF lore. Either that or someone hacks Scott Coffin's Google Docs page. But I doubt he has that shit, like, written down, like... At, at like that, I imagine it's on like some absolutely like like if it's written down, it has no connection to the internet. It has no way for anyone to ever find it. That that is my thoughts. I don't think. I, I think that that is now his safeguarded secret uh, until the end of time. I mean, I don't blame him.
I mean, most of the fun is the confusion and trying to understand just what the fuck is this dude thinking? You know? Ow. Okay. Um, oh. I was wondering where I could potentially get, uh, products in the daily quest thing. And I realize now I'm pretty sure this gas station has an attendant. Because I don't know where everything is on this map yet. They took out most of the, the Greek gods and goddesses. So, I don't know. One thing I like about this game is how the map evolves over time, like, consistently. It, it's never, like, the same thing, like, and it doesn't completely, like, the map itself doesn't change until the entire, like, uh, what's it called? The entire season is over, and most of the time it's just, like, destroyed, and no one is here. I was wrong. Okay. Um... That's a problem. Um, shit. Oh, wait, is this how you're supposed to get out through these windows? Oh, wait, no, you can just jump up. Yeah, I, I just... Uh, where the flip would someone be, then? Hmm. You know what? I should get in a car and then go. Grab the tires. First player to modify a vehicle? That's surprising. Oh, wait, hold on. Need that. Need this. Oh, I'll take all of these. That'll help. Okay, um... Hmm. Wait, uh, I think... Jonesy's around here. So if we can get there... We can get stuff from him. Okay. Let's go. It's weird to think about the fact that we are getting a new FNAF game soon. That doesn't happen often. Like, we got two FNAF games, like, fairly recently. Like, of course, Ruin, like, that—that that is a DLC, but it's a huge, like, game in and of itself. Um, and then you had Help Wanted 2, and now we're getting into the pit or whatever. That's pretty damn cool. Okay. Shit, 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 shit. Not the plan. The plan was literally to boost through. That was exactly what I wanted. Okay. This is exactly what I needed. Thank you, Peabody. Like, no shit, that was exactly what I fucking needed. 
and now I have an an epic thing to kill other people with. Okay. Now I just have to go find someone to kill with this shotgun. There they are. There we are. Three dailies completed. Call that the bite of 87. <laughs> Oh shit. Phew. Okay, that was rough. Actually, let me um Now I've got my robot arms, that's good. Okay. Well, I now officially have a bunch of good weapons and a bunch of W's under my belt. Okay, um... Accidentally used one of my dashes, which sucks. Oh shit! Hit him with the- the- the, the bite of 87. <laughs> okay. Those are the spirits inside. <laughs> oh, damn it. Well, I just let one of the spirits go, damn. Darn, I wanted to grab onto that zip line. <laughs> oh well. Oh shit. Man. <laughs> I now have as high of a kill count as the entire FNAF series. Let's go. Oh shit. Speaking of a kill count, we need to move. into the water and now we have all of our stuff and can just move over here and there should be a villain around here us to kill somewhere ah
come back here, villain. Did he really get get away that easily? God damn it. Well, I tried. There you are, villain. No villain will ever defeat me. I am doing good this match. I do seem to need more bullets, though. That's a shame. Oh wait, uh... I see another shield potion. I'm gonna go for that. Oh hey! That's a good option. That's probably a great way to get more ammo. Capturing that. No one ever goes up there when I go up there, so... No one's gonna come up here. A okay. Just lean back, stretch out, scratch your neck, crack your neck, sit up in your chair, or lean back, I guess. And we just vibe. Just vibe. Five nights at Freddy's. This would, oh my gosh, I should name this video This Will Be Five Nights at Freddy's in 2024. That would be a good video title. There's a mod bench here? Okay. I hate the new mod bench. This is awful. I didn't even know that there was a mod bench on the island. Um, 
only looks like there's the one chest left. So let's grab that. And then I'll quickly head and grab, uh, what's it called? I'll grab some, some green. Dip into the pool. You're here. Okay, I'm guessing they ran. That's reasonable. I'll run as well. I love the, the malfunctioning vending machines. I love the vending machines in general. I hate these leaves. These leaves are awful. They genuinely make my eyes hurt to look at, so I'm leaving them behind. Oh shit. Someone brave enough to take on the woman behind the slaughter? <laughs> Or just foolish enough. Oh shit, I have to move, I just realized. Okay, I'll just run. <sighs> Wait, has no one taken over the tower yet? That's crazy. Oh, you're a real person. Why? Well, I no longer have an escape, um, wait, now I do. I see him.
Oh shit, I'm being attacked from- Oh, it's this dickhead again! Why are you alive? I hate you. I really do. He spends the entire game running away from me, and then he kills me in the end. Alright. Rude ass.